We're here. And we're live. Welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. We're here a little late. Thanks for tuning in a little later. Um, it's end of school year, and we have performances that you can't miss. And graduations. So. <laughs> Coming up Kids soon. Get their awards. You guys know. So we had to play moms today and tune in a little later. So hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful morning. We are going to have so much fun today. I'm yes. excited about today. This is um, sure. this was actually a lot of fun to do. It, it didn't feel like work really because it. I think really I would really we ever it. do feel like work sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sometimes. sometimes I sweat a little more than others. <laughs> so um, what did we do last week? We did. Oh, backyard games. Yeah. We did backyard games. I'm like, week, we right? have to look because I don't remember. It was, two, it was a week ago, Miss Decent. I know. I know. I'm sorry. So I hope you've already started making your reservations in the studios because um, the backyard games have definitely been fun and um, we've already been playing ours a lot. So she's perfected her ring toss. Don't worry. <laughs> I've not. But if you're having graduation parties, that's a great excuse to go make a game and bring it to your backyard for the party. Absolutely. So that's always fun. So pretty excited about that. So um, what do we got going on this week? This week is all about hosting and entertaining outside because we're going to be barbecuing, right. right? But don't be intimidated. Don't think like we're talking like hosting like, do I say her name, Martha Stewart style? <laughs> this isn't like, this is the way that we want to teach you guys to I host. I think she was the first. But she was She was like one of the first that really got into what... A table should look and like, feel like and feel like and then she was kind of like the first crafter on steroids maybe but she, <laughs> she, was, a crafter, right? she was a crafter um so she kind of started the diy thought process of how to do all of right. these things so um we just keep taking things to another level this is nailed it <laughs> level this is what we do we nail our lives every day i think you guys are gonna be really inspired by everything we did because okay. it was stuff that was again fun it was fun it was it was unique. This is like style. So without further ado, let's it's tell them what fun. we did. So, all the great, great um, stuff. Yeah. So we have and all kinds of backyard right now. We're, yep. We're here. We're going to uh, zoom well, out. I've got a Don't lot. Worry. I've got a lot of um, family coming in this week for graduations. And so um, we're definitely going to do a lot of barbecuing. So if you stop by, say hi. <laughs> come look at the tablescape. Um, come look at the tablescape. We've got some ideas and we were really actually struggling with which idea to go with because there were so many fun ideas and and things that we could do we almost couldn't stop so we did a bunch of things and then you can take it to the level that you want you could take um, your top five out of the 26 things we did and one of the <laughs> great things that we did is everything doesn't have to be you know you were talking earlier about themes and colors we chose color as our theme stripes and patterns and things like that as our theme but I mean, it could be unicorns. Because <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I mean, whatever your theme is, you want to run with that theme, and that's what your whole tablescape is going to be. So, um, what are some basic rules of a tablescape? I would say height. Height. Yes. Is that what you wanted I, me I to say? Yes. I taught her when we I talk was with our eyes. I was like, <laughs> we have this <laughs> language where we don't really say the words. So, height. <laughs> um, you know, just laying food out or just entertaining in general you don't want to have um, everything just laying out it might be beautiful food but it looks even better when you have it at different heights and different things not so you too can high use, not too high for the shorty over here. Every time I'm at a table party I always like pick up whatever's there and I move it because I'm like I can't see over you can't see. so if your table doesn't look the same it's because she's moved it. yeah people in my family <laughs> like things really well oh my goodness I love it so um so let's just talk about height since we're there. What can we use as height? What are some things that you can use? Um, okay, so we're gonna talk about, I guess, planters in different ways. So we actually did a lot of terracotta painting the other day. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty inexpensive. This is, and this is basic. So terracotta pots to me are like beautiful and you paint them and they're so cute to paint because you can like have fun with it. Mm -hmm. It's not like boring. But anyway, so terracotta plants, if you don't use them, Turn them upside down and use that height. So that's a great kind of and thing to put on top. And you can use the base as a serving tray. Boom. And that goes on your table. Again, we're going to post like a pull-out picture 
of what this looks like from another afar. Another idea is when you use, um, I know a lot of you have these like little cupcake stands. You can put those on top of that terracotta pot. You won't really see, you'll see it when we pull it all together, but you can put that on top of that as well to help build some height. So I'll leave this over here just to get And I love, well, can we talk about the candles and height differences maybe? Yeah, different heights of so, candles. I was gonna talk about. Um, bringing things up with those. Yeah, so I can just name things. Oh. Because this, this will fall, yep, will fall apart. So slices of wood, like big thick slices of wood, um, galvanized buckets. Um, turn things over, turn buckets over. Yep. You can also put cloths over buckets so you don't see them. If you've got, even if you have a cardboard box, you can use a cardboard box and put something over it. Or one of my favorite things, I'm actually going to bring this out. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy, heavy and I can't lift it, and I haven't been going to the gym. So hold on. Boom. Yeah. I'll pretend I'm helping. <laughs> By going like this. <laughs> I couldn't get it to you. So this is a concrete stepping stone. It's a dollar eighty something at the store. And we painted it. Look how pretty that With is. With stripes because stripes are cool. It's our theme. So if you are a part of the Nailed It crew, you saw a couple of weeks ago, I think it was in April. Yeah. I'm just going to drop that right there. In April, we had concrete planters where you can paint the planters and they add a lot. You've seen a stencil tile. Well, you can stencil concrete. You can really come up with a lot of fun things there. Um, but you can turn those planters over and stack as well. So there's your other height thing. So that's your big height thing. Height. So let's talk about some of the um, fun decor, fun things we did. <laughs> One, I'm still going with terracotta plants maybe. We'll okay. talk about some of the different things we did. So all the terracotta pots that we bought, we ended up painting them ourselves. So in our kids' help, so yep. they just fun. Some. They don't have to be perfect. Nothing needs to be perfect. This is just coordinating our terracotta plants to go all over the table. And they look really good together, even if they're not all the same size or the same pattern. Like using the different pots. And then it looks like you went and bought like a nice set of terracotta pots that all match. All look but good. you did them. Oh, I forgot my little blue and white. Yeah. Too. See, look how cute this little set looks together. We just opposite the colors. There's different. But yeah, so that's it. And then you put a couple flowers. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Just like a little pop of I, color. We were actually, our color theme was navy, white, natural, and yellow. So I only picked some yellow. And we, another great tip, which I'm probably jumping into it, is okay. using natural elements. Um, so this is one of my favorites. I want to show this one too. Yes. So we've got lemons all over the table. We also cut lemons and you can put, this is just lemons in water. And you can put flowers in it. This is limes and water. Look how cute this is. And I got these at the dollar store. These are glass Not cylinders. the lemons, that'd be weird. Yeah, that'd be a little weird. But <laughs> glass, these are really um, pretty. Yeah, I think that is gorgeous. And I did have flowers in those, but they died already. We're gonna to talk to her soon about that. <laughs> yeah, our flowers died. So Where's that's a great little way to add pops of color. And you can use oranges, lemons, or limes, or really anything you can slice, and then just add that color that you choose for your theme. So. Another great thing is candles, like having different size candles all over. Um, little votive candles. I'm not yep. gonna let you talk about those two. Little votive candles, these are little wood ones because it goes with the nature theme that we have. It's just all natural items. It doesn't have to be crazy, but I love these two ideas. Again, we went to the dollar store and got those, I call them. We call them prayer candles. Prayer candles? No, <laughs> but these ones are not prayer candles, but they're the same thing, they're tall pillar style glass. We actually took this and dipped it in paint at an angle and then I just went crazy with some gold paint just to bring in a gold element and you'll see more of that of why we did that. Thanks the... Jessica, we just got claps. <laughs> claps. <laughs> and then another fun one. That this we one is my favorite. It so does, this candle's under it's here. It's the same candle and I just took rope and hot glued it all the way around. Now this is a little time consuming and you got to have a little bit of patience. I mean, it wasn't that big, because this is small, right. but I mean, now I've got this forever, and then I can just keep pouring um, more wax. What a cool we, way. When, our, when we ever do make your own candle. <laughs> One day we're going to make our own candles with you guys, but for now, let's just keep going. So, let's go up here. I got to so, keep, keep my tablescape, so when we're we gonna show talk it. More, yeah, let's, let, so place setting is where we're going to go into next. Yes, we talked about the fun stuff. A, this is this a big is the one. fun stuff, you guys. Yeah, the, this, this is it. You start with silverware, because that's. Okay, this is like this Shannon's is, jam. This right is here. questionable. Okay, so <laughs> silverware. We went to the dollar store. You may have seen on our story a little sneak peek photo of what we were doing with silverware. This is what we were doing with silverware. We were dipping the silverware 
in the proper paint to seal it. Of course, when you're done, mm -hmm. I added the gold at the bottom. How so our that? silverware went from dollar store geek to sh totally chic. Oh, look at you trying to pull that out. Like that was that. a movie, Can't Buy Me it Love. Was. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I Channeling. actually thought of the other day? If you're doing a bunch of themes and you don't want to buy silverware, you know the silver plastic wear? Yes. Oh, I have another idea. The wooden stuff. Like the, the wooden, wooden spoons for serving. Yes. Those the wooden so spoons pretty. are, and I actually have seen those in a lot of stores like Pottery Barn and um, Brandless, and they have all those. But you could just do these with plastic too, and then that way they could still be. Oh, what Lisa, that? that's a good tip. You can put a floating candle in yes. here. Yes. Yes. I love that. If yes. I bring this to your house, will you invite me over for some dinner? I love and we'll float it. some I candles. Now That's show them idea. your awesome, awesome idea. Okay, so, so you got to tell them this whole I mean, big, big deal. I think it's all about using one thing to coordinate and getting mm -hmm. as much use out of that thing as possible. Because oh, really, that's... we didn't show them this part. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll show them this we'll too. Sorry, because that was part of it. We did the same wine glasses from the dollar store. Real Dip. wine glasses dipped in paint. Well, actually, painted on paint, and we'll talk about the paint later, but. Um, Again, we took paint. a normal, boring glass. And how, you know what was cool? So I was thinking like a color drink to accent. Mm -hmm. Ooh, like a, a um, blueberry mojito. Or even a green to bring Ooh. out the green and lemon. Okay. We should probably practice like that today. Mm. Okay, next. Sorry, Darby. <laughs> <laughs> we should Not probably make sure now. the drinks that we make today coordinate our cups. So you got to give them this big tip with a drop cloth. So we bought one drop cloth. Six by nine? Six by nine Six foot. Six by nine. $7 at Walmart. It was just a drop cloth. That nothing fancy, it's made out of canvas. We cut it up to create an entire Table. tablescape and extra things that we'll yeah. talk about. So with that one drop cloth, I'm gonna give you guys all the, the specials on, I think that one's the one number, is that one, right? Yeah, okay. okay, so we cut these up into napkin size. These are folded. And then we took them and painted the stripes using tape and paint. Any tape, any kind of paint, really, because they're drop cloths, they're going to absorb mm -hmm. paint. Right. right. There's I love no it. I love that. Special tape. So this is part of the coordinating with, of course, the blues mm -hmm. and the stripes and the everything we did matches. And then another idea is if you don't like the whole stripe thing, you can go with. Numbers. It's just whatever you want. So stripes can be Names. paint um, with tape. You can buy stencils and put um stencil on really any of any of those it's just the idea of painting um painting on the canvas and you, did you tell them this part? i didn't i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to do that well we'll show them in the big thing but you can make yeah. a whole table runner from that six by nine and i think we did it um one foot or two foot 24 feet. yeah so two, two feet. feet yep so um we two did feet two feet wide and then we painted some stripes on which we'll show you in just a second to coordinate. but so literally everything on this table is tied together when you guys see it from the perspective that we're going to show you you're going to be mindful. i'm going to let you tell them about this and i will set all that up so we can show them the pretty. whole table okay yep. mm -hmm. all right i'm, so I'm left alone my pretty setting i'm left there. alone with you guys what do you want to talk about oh. So we were talking about ways to kind of incorporate personality and fun and thinking outside the box with this one, but name plates or name tags are pretty popular amongst table settings. So we got really creative and went to the backyard and picked leaves. And we used a gold marker, which we will post, a gold paint pen, and wrote everybody's names on their leaf and then incorporated that into their tableware so that they knew where their seat was or they just had something special that was individualized at their table. So that was simple. Another idea, you can write um, people's names on, what else did we talk about? What was the just one you loved? Stock. You had a really good one. Um, um, leaves, and then there was something, and you, I was like, yes. And now I can't remember. It was such a good idea that I can't remember. Um, was I it? Remember. I don't recall what it was. But anyway, you can put people's names on anything and then just have that with your silverware and kind of, Misty's gonna show you how she incorporated um, the leaf with the forks and everything. So she's setting that up. I'm going to spin you guys because your mind is going to be blown when you see what it all looks like together. Oh, tell sure me about the um, wood. Oh, yeah, duh. Chargers. Duh. Chargers. And huge part sign, of it. Yes. Look what we made for chargers. A piece of wood stained with our coordinating number. You could do coordinating stripes across the bottom and like this, like we did on the cement block. So your charger is brought into the theme or the feel of your table. This was a great way to do it. And this again was just wood out of the garage, stained it with a regular stain, put on a cool stencil, and then you've got unique 
chargers with all of their place settings on top of it, which I'm sure will be a conversation piece. And also behind me, you guys will see the gather sign. This is actually the sign for my living room. So, or dining room, excuse me. So this is a way that you can go in your home and find pieces that feel warm and incorporate that into your room space outside. So we're gonna pull back. So I just wanna show you one thing. Here's another thing that we did with, on the back of a chair, having a chair runner with the rest of that drop cloth. You can see it on both of these chairs. How cute is that? And then just taking a look at the whole tablescape, how pretty that is. This is our tablecloth. Well, that's that table runner. Our table how runner. Cute. So this was just cut and frayed and we have pictures and um, ideas on how to fray this nicely. So this again incorporated the stripes that we talked about. And then you can see, yep, so there's the stripes. So coordinate each other. And then here you can see the whole place setting. Looks really good. And you can see my leaf with my name on it. That's where you're sitting today. That's where I'm going to sit. And then you can see the centerpieces. See how we incorporated those candles and the terracotta and the linens. And where we brought some hide in. So you can kind of see that whole setting with gather in the background. Isn't that pretty? You want to come and eat with me, don't you? Mm -hmm. I know. Do you want to talk about our extra drop cloth? Because we did I have just extra. Did this. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Oh, cool. I didn't yep. even hear you. Sorry, I was looking at the table. I think I keep hitting the button. So, oh. okay. So we don't want to be too shaky. Here, take that. My arms crooked. Okay. Here we so go. What is? If you have questions or you have ideas for some good tablescapes, um, let us know. I, I I think what I really like about this is all the nature. Um, you know, bringing live plants. Um, flowers, using the leaves, using fruits like lemons. That's like one of my favorite things in here because it's not hard or expensive. I don't think any of this really costs a lot. No. Right? I would say probably like $25, $30 total. Yeah. Table, if that. Uh, uh, canvas is what, 10 bucks? Yep. And that was like the biggest price was our canvas. Right. And then terracotta pots are a couple of dollars just depending on the size. So really not an expensive table. Tablescape. Awesome. I hope this inspires you guys because tablescaping is one of those things that can, can be, be intimidating and people are like, I don't what know. What was the quote that you had that oh, well, if you're not that. a um, host, you're a guest? You're either one or two <laughs> things or something. Yeah, you're either one or two things. You're a um, host. If you're not a host, you're a guest. But this is this way you can be a, um, a guest that turns into a host because yeah. it's so easy. Yeah, this is definitely something I could do. So we're going to post um, all the tutorials, all the videos, all the individual links, whatever you guys need to do this yourself. And then post your picture. Let us know what color you're going to do, what your theme will be, and then how you can incorporate maybe a sign from Nailed It right there um, on your table or anything else that we can incorporate. So that's it. So find a studio near you. Start making your items. We do tea cloths even at the studio. Tea so towels. Tea towels um, at the at the studio. So there's things that you can add within the studio. So find one near you. And if you're not a member of our Nailed It crew, we're telling you now all the details. So the paint that we use, everything goes on Nailed It crew. All right. So pay attention there. Yay! Happy Friday, you guys. I hope this inspires you. Summer has begun. Summer has begun. Go entertain y'all. Bye bye. Bye.